This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting episode of Freeform Friday where we play some random video game and today's game is called Castle Story. This is a game that I've had my eye on for some time and uh, they just released a new update and they were kind enough to uh, give me a key which is absolutely fantastic because I'm super excited to play it. So I already played through the sandbox mode a little bit, just messed around with it, played through the tutorial, all that because it is a bit of a complex game. Uh, now that I think I have a decent hang of the game, we're going to do the, uh, let's see, do we want to do invasion or do we want to do conquest? I think we're going to do invasion. So essentially what this is, is it's like, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain because you have a bunch of little people that do your bidding kind of God Sim RTS style. But at the same time, the whole environment is destructible and you have to mine for resources to craft things and it's it's crazy i don't know you'll see here in a second it's really cool all right so here we are in uh the game and we're just going to click ready there and here it is so here are your little people and see you can control them kind of like rts style but if you take a look you'll notice that the whole map here is made up of blocks and you can actually dig those blocks out and change the map. And on top of that, it's a building game because you can build your own custom structures. So we're gonna start off here with taking all of our little people. We're going to do new task and we're gonna click this and then we're going to tell them to mine out these trees. You can drag the size of the area and you can reposition it. So let's have them Dig it out or chop down all of those right there. Okay, so that's good. And then once you're done, you can either hit tab or just click the little check mark there. Now you can see all the little ones that are, or all the little people that are working on this. So we got everybody working on it. If I had more than one task, they would be down here across the bottom and uh, they'll, it would show you the different ones that are on it. So now if I like say do this, we'll click the boulders here and we'll just rotate the camera around and right like that and then we'll check that one and in a few seconds you'll notice that a couple of them will go over there and the other thing that we need to do is we need to build a stockpile so we're going to go into our structures we're going to build a chopping block so they can start chopping the wood and then that will allow them to build the stockpiles so we're just going to do we're going to do like this just a little three by three stockpile there, and then we will okay that. Now, then they'll get start building on that in just a second. They gotta chop down the wood first. Once they have the wood, they will uh, then come over here, and you can see that they've started to place that down. Once this these have all been placed down, they'll start mining the stone, and they will bring it over as well. All right, let's do let's do one more little stockpile situation here, like so. We're just gonna click and drag and click and drag like that, and then we're going to start building some other goodies here. So we need a workshop. So we're going to just click that. I'm gonna zoom in here, and you can rotate it with the right mouse button. So we're gonna place that there. I also need a furnace and we're going to place that right beside that like so and we're going to need a loom as well and then we're going to need a couple of weapon racks just to store our stuff on so we're just going to do three of actually do i want three or two yeah let's do three we'll do three of those for now so i'm just going to check all that off there now let's get to the fun part so now we can start building some walls. So we're gonna go here to where it says the new task and we're gonna click this here. This is our quarry. For some reason it doesn't show up underneath of it. You can see the other ones here, like it shows flatten, tunnel, uh, but for some reason the quarry doesn't, doesn't show under it. But this is your quarry here. What we're going to do is we're actually going to start digging a quarry. And I think I, think I wanna put it right here so you can Click it like that and then we can designate the size of it. So we're just going to stretch it out like so and like that. Now we have a nice big quarry. We're just gonna click that checkbox and then they will start going over there and start digging. We got a whole nine minutes here to the wave start so we gotta get to, uh, to get to working on this stuff. They sh they've already mined some stones so they should be able to complete all this. Yeah, we just need some planks. 
little guys over there chopping. We'll have some planks here in a second. Well, we got a few there, but they don't seem to be... They don't want to bring them over. Oh, they did on that one. Okay, so now we can start crafting uh, fighting gear to equip on our little block guys here. We can click this, and they will start crafting that up. And I'm going to go ahead and queue up an archer kit as well, because I want both. All right, so now let's get to the actual building of the structure. So let's take a look at our map here. So we have a choke point here, and we have a choke point here. Now, I can build a full castle, but before I do that, since we only have nine minutes here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to block off these choke points. So we'll rotate our map around so we can get a good feeling for the situation here. And yeah, so we're going to build out like that. And you can drag these as well. And then we're going to rotate around. I want to connect it right to there and oh, nope. So you can delete the blueprint if you screw up by holding down control and clicking it. So that and then we will drag that to there like so. And let's rotate around. We're going to need a gate so that they can get in and out. So they should be able to get through that, I would think. So let's drag this across here and make that too high. We'll rotate back around and do the same thing here. Okay, so now let's get our door placed there. So if we go to structures, you can see we have a door. We'll place that right in there like so. All right, so that gives us a little bit of a wall there, but I wanna be able to get on the back of the wall. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click the uh, uh, wooden pillar here or the wooden column. And what I can do is, actually let's click the stairs first. Let's put, set of stairs right there and then we will do a half block and then we will put a, another set of stairs like so. Now we'll grab our wooden column and we'll place that too high like that and then we can come over here and we can grab our plank and we can attach it to the top like that. And let's, uh, let's see if we can get a better view here. Kind of zoom in a little bit on it and We'll just take that to there. Now you can see now it's red, so that means we need another wooden column there. There we go. So now they can get up there and stand on the wall. And if we want, we can even do some like crenellations up there. So we got different blocks for that stuff. You could use pretty much whatever you want. They give you a ton of different blocks to choose from here. And let's see here. Let's put, let's put one there and one there like that. So now he can come up, the little guys can come up there and they can stand there and uh, fire arrows out. And let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. So what I'll do is I'll just do another set of stairs, right like so, another half block, another set of stairs. Now you can blueprint all of this stuff and uh, make little chunks and we'll try that over there. I haven't tried out the blueprint system yet, but we will, We'll give it a go here on the other side and I'll show you how it can work so you don't have to be uh, building all of this from scratch every single time. So I'm just going to leave that one like that. I'm not going to put another pillar there. We'll just leave that. That looks good. We'll uh, click OK and then they should just start building that now. OK, so let's go over and check out this other side here. We'll uh, we'll start right here. We'll build a little uh, blueprint set up here and then we'll see if we can save it and take it over there. So. We're just going to do a chunk of wall, like so, too high, and then we'll do a set of stairs. So I want to, let's try the rounded stairs here. Let's see how, how these look. So we'll do it like that, and then we will put a block there, and yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so now we need a pillar, so we'll do a pillar there. And then we will take the wooden, uh, what is this called? The platform or whatever it's called and put that like that. We need one more here and there. Now it connects and they can stand on that. Now I think we click up here where it says blueprints. Now can I, okay, now you can select it. So now we can just give it a name and then click this button. There we go. So now we have that that chunk of wall. So now what I can do is I can just delete this. All right, it took me a second there to figure out how to get it to work, but I think I got it. So let's come over here and 
This is a little bit of a more of a sketchy area. It's a much larger spot. So what we would have to do is drag a wall all the way across here. So let's flip this around like so, because I don't know if they can come through the trees or not. We could also just cut it off. Let's cut it off right here because it's a much smaller spot. So, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to start building a little bit of wall right here just to build that out and then we'll build that across there. Now, say I wanna use my, my blueprint. So now I can click this and click, click on it and then click load and you can see it gives me the chunk of blueprint here. So let's rotate that around. For some reason, I don't know if, Okay, so I can place it there. It doesn't like it here for some reason. So what we'll do is we'll place it right here. Is that in line? That is right there. Okay, so we'll place that like so. I don't know if that's because it's on, yeah, it might be because it looks like it's on a bit of an incline there. I think is the situation that we're running into. Yeah, the land isn't even there. And actually, I think we're we're off center. So let's go ahead and we'll break that. So if you just want to load your blueprint, you can see right now I can't, you have to do a build task. So if we do a build task, you can see it then gives me the option to load my blueprint. So let's see, why is that being janky? Yeah, I can place it here. So let's start here and place it like that first. And then we will do structures, door, there and then we'll place the rest of this by hand since it wants to be a punk. Okay, yeah, it's definitely because it's not even. So we can place that like that and then a little block there. So there we go. Now we need to place one more because it's still not high enough. And there we go. So now all we have to do is just okay that and there's our build. Now if I ever want to come back to this and see this specific build, you can just click this right here and it highlights the build again. So I'm just going to okay that. They should have started, yep, they've already started building on this over here, which is absolutely fantastic. We'll have that all built up here soon. Looks like they need to uh, harvest a little more stone. And we have the ability to make a new little guy here, so we're just gonna do that, because we definitely need those. We need as many of those little guys as possible. You can see that they've uh, started to dig out the quarry here. My only complaint with this game, and I know why they didn't do it, because it it's a RTS game, like you can actually play against other people, is, oh, we got our invasion going on right now and we don't do, can, hey, you, can you, can you get over here and get a spear? Oh, you didn't finish the kit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we might lose a little guy. Run, little guy, run, get out of there, get out of there. Get out, get out. Everybody else, fight these guys. Um, anyway, it's, it's an RTS game, so if they were to add a way to increase time, they would have to disable it in the PvP matches. I'm about to lose this little guy. I can't select him. Everybody get out of there. Get out of there. I need the... No, get, save this little guy. Get out of that. You get back in it. Oh my god, these guys hit so hard. Alright. Why aren't you all attacking this guy? Attack him. Yeah, beat him with your pickaxes. So, we need to, uh, we need to increase. Can we, uh, increase the priority on this? So if I select this... Hmm we select a specific guy to work it okay I we, we barely made that by the skin of our teeth here so let's see here why are you all not I want to be able to select a specific one to work this so I have the option here and then I click that but it doesn't give me the option to select a specific guy and I'm not sure why so if we click the harvesting task and we click, see you can set a priority on the harvesting task. So if we select this guy and then click the harvesting task, do we then deselect him? All right, I'm not sure how you select him. I'm gonna have to figure that out later, but I do know where our holdup is. We need a new task, we need brimstone, and we need a bunch of it. So what we're going to do is harvest that. We're going to increase the priority on it Click OK. Let's increase the priority one more. And you can see your priority is right here. Those uh, three little dots. I have max priority on that, so they should start to harvest that.
All right, so I figured out how you bind them to a specific task. You select one of your little people and then you just click on this here. So you right click it and it binds them to that task. So like I have this guy right here bound to this one. You can see I have him selected and he shows up right there. And then I have this little guy, one of these bound to the quarry. Uh, so that's how you can bind them to specific tasks. So they're not, they're not just running around doing whatever they want all willy nilly like, okay. So we're just waiting on this wall over here to finish being built. Oh, actually I may have screwed that up because it looks like I don't have, uh oh, we got problems. Let's try to, I may have canceled that somehow. I'm not sure what happened here. So let me just get that rebuilt real quick. All right, we're under attack. We got an attack going on. I, I wasn't able to get it built quick enough, but no, run, little guy, run, little guy, get your, uh, get your kit. So we do have a kit, now this guy can fight? Yeah, take that. Oh man. I don't want to lose people. Run! Run away! Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, run, run, run. Okay, so what we can do, we can put the kit back, and then we can select one with more health and have him get the kit. Yeah, get in there and fight. Oh no, I think one died. Oh no. This is terrible, terrible. I wasn't fast enough. I forgot about the brimstone and uh, that was just bad news. All right, everybody get out of there and stop dying. Get out of there. Okay, fine, fight, fight then. You don't wanna leave, oh, we got another one queued up so we're good. Okay, we need to queue up a ton more Actually, cancel, clear all that. Give me a ton more of those. Okay, so we'll, we'll queue up our replacement for our little guy we lost there, which is terrible. Now, when they're warriors like this, they can't, they can't do anything except fight. So what you can do is just put your stuff back. That way they can go back to doing, you know, buildy things. Okay, so we have them building the blueprint over here. I at some point canceled that somehow. I'm not sure what I did there, but we got them rebuilding it, so we should be somewhat all right. And then this this is built over here, so we're good there. We just need to, uh, this is where they're coming in at, so we need to get that built up quickly. Okay, so the other thing we can do here is on our loom, we can queue up a bunch of this. And we need we take a look here. We don't have any plant materials, so we can actually create a new task for plant material, and that's just all of this here. So we can click that, drag it out a little bit, make sure we have a nice big area selected here, and then just let them harvest that up. All right, so uh, that's it. Like I'm gonna continue playing this a little bit, but we've about hit our wrap up times here, so. Uh, hope you all enjoyed this. I, th I think it's a pretty cool game. I like it. It's a little complex. It's a little weird because it's like kind of new to its its own thing. Like I don't I don't think I've ever played a game like this before. Like I played plenty of RTSs, but not one where it's like RTX mixed with Minecraft mixed with I don't even know. It's it's crazy because like you're building your own town, but at the same time you're fighting and other. It's just it's really cool. I like it. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.